Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today we've got a big project on the go. Today we're going to be making two bedside tables and we're going to be basing them uh, on a plan that's in this book and I'll show you a close-up of this and I'll also show you a close-up of what the end or what the uh, bedside tables are supposed to look like. So here's what the book looks like, the, the front cover, uh, by Robert uh, W. Lang. And this is 30 Stickley Designs, and I, I, I'm assuming that uh, he's uh, made these. But I'm going to show you the back cover so that you can see exactly what I'm going to be making today. So there you get the ISBN number, all the information if you want to purchase the book and get the plans. Uh, it's a great book. There's actually two in the series, but this is the little bedside table that I'm going to make. Now you'll notice that this one has two drawers. I'm just going to make it with one drawer, so I'm going to modify it a little bit. I can't open the book and show you the plans because there's a copyright in effect. All I can do is show you the cover of it. Um, so if you're interested in the plans, uh, you'll have to go out and buy the book because I can't give them to you out of the book. Okay, and just like you've seen me do before so many times, uh, I'm using my doweling jig and I'm just using the quarter inch size right now to make some holes uh, and put some dowels in and that will align the tops of the board so that they'll be just almost perfect. Uh, and I don't have to be putting clamps everywhere to try and keep the boards level for... Okay, now I'm just going to take a minute to do a quick dry fit. And these dowels that I'm putting in um, are colored, <laughs> and that's because they're my test dowels. Otherwise, they're too hard to get out. So I just took some dowels and I just uh, sanded them down a little bit, took some of the fluting off of them so that they go in and out a lot easier. Otherwise, I got to use pliers or something to get them out. Okay, that looks good. And I wish you could see that. It's just, it just lines up just perfectly, even before we put any glue on. Okay, so let's take that over and we'll start doing a glue up on that. So to keep this little bit bigger build moving along, because there's two components to it, uh, I've decided to pre-cut some of these, especially some of the simpler parts, because you don't need to see every little detail. But what I'm going to do right now, while the top and the lower shelf are gluing up, uh, we're going to move along with the legs here and start doing that. So I'm going to trim the legs here at the sliding miter saw, but it's also a good time for me to remind you, if you haven't already subscribed, I ask you to do that. Uh, and don't forget to click that little bell symbol as well. That's the little icon that gives you, sends you a reminder every time I upload a new video. All right, so let's get moving. Now that first cut was just to trim one side. Now I'm going to cut them to length. Now there's some cross members on the legs as well, and I'm going to do the same thing with them. I'm going to trim off the end, but I've set up a stop block here so that I get uh, a perfect cut without having to remeasure each time. Thank you. 
Now the inside of the legs call for uh, sort of a semicircle on the on each of the insides, and then the cross member will sit in this area here. Uh, and there's the cross member, so you'll have it like that uh, with a little bit of a. Uh, sort of a half moon in here, or a quarter moon. So the quickest way I thought to do that, rather than trying to mark each one, I've marked the top so that I make sure I don't go any higher than this on all of these. And what I'm going to do, I just used my hole saw, and I'm just going to be able to look through the hole and put that right on the center of that end right there, and just draw around it, and that way they'll all be exactly the same, and I'll just cut those out on the band saw. So there's what the legs look like, and I put it at a little bit of an angle so you'll be able to see the shadow in this side. And you can see that this, these uh, pieces of wood, this is half inch, this is three quarter inch. Um, so we get a little bit of a reveal in here. Okay, so I've got the middle piece here all set up, ready to drill, and I've installed the little piece in the, the dowling jig. So I'm going to drill one for, then I'm going to move it so that we drill this hole down here, and you'll see what that looks like. One, and four, and now if I take that and move that down, and I just center that one on there, and I should be able to go back into four again. Yeah, all right. And that gives me my three holes. One, four, and I'll put that one in there, and go back to four, now if we did everything right, let's get some Some of our colored test dowels here, and that should go in just it's a bit snug there. And just loosen that off. There we go. And there it is. You can see that it's perfectly flush on that side, and we've got a nice reveal. Okay, now it's time for the finishing, and this is a custom die that I've, custom color that I've made up. And all of the double-sided pieces, I put these little standoffs on, uh, and I've just uh, tacked them on with my air nailer, so they'll pop off pretty easily. So I'm not going to make you sit through all of this, but I'm just going to get started so you'll be able to see the color, and then I'm going to carry on and finish up all of these.
Well, a little bit of time has passed, uh, so it's time to start doing some assembly now. And while I've got the cabinet on its back, I'm going to install the um, top for it as well. And all I'm going to do is put three screws through this wood on the front, and I'm going to use some mechanical fasteners on the back. And I have those uh, slightly elongated so that if there is some movement on the uh, top, that it's not going to crack the top. Well, and there we have our two arts and crafts inspired bedside tables. And some of you are going to say, well, they're not finished. You don't have drawers in them. And you're right. I don't have drawers in them. But you know what? I have seen these with a shelf in here. You could easily put a shelf in there similar to what I did in the bottom. But it's too long to make the drawers in this video. So I'm going to make the drawers in the next video and that will complete these with the drawers in it. So if you want to see the drawers being made, you can tune in next time. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Colin Kanat for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.